and we're now delighted to be joined in the studio by Dr. Saul Lizerbrom, the president of the Jewish National Fund USA, who is here in Israel on a special mission to promote the World Zionist Village, which is being planned to be built in the Negev region, and so much more that this organization is doing. Thank you and welcome to the show, and well, it's nice to for, see you. Yeah, thanks for having me. So it's a pleasure, and you guys, JNF USA does a lot of spectacular work. I myself have had the pleasure of doing uh, some reports on some of the, the projects that you're doing. Tell us, uh, for our viewers that don't know about it, what is unique and special about the JNF USA and its mission? JNF USA is unique in the fact that it's really a lay leader operation. We like to call them ambassadors who are volunteers. Now, of course, we have professional staff, but we have hundreds of ambassadors that really do the heavy lifting and they come over to Israel and they meet with the people on the street of Beersheba or Kiryat Shemona and they ask them, what do you need here? Wow. So we're not in the holes of the Knesset. We're on the ground, we're on the street. We ask them, what do you need? It could be parks, it could be resilience centers, it could be hospitals. What do you need in your community? We go back, those volunteers go back, put together a plan, then raise the money and start to build. Wow, it's incredible. And so tell us about the project uh, that the World Zionist Village uh, in the Negev. This is uh, one of the, I imagine, one of the grand initiatives that you're doing. It's not, not easy to pull off. Tell us about it and what the plans are. It's the grandest of initiatives. It's a $350 million project. We just announced uh, a few weeks ago that uh, we accomplished something that's never been done before. We've raised a billion dollars for Israel. Wow. A billion dollars. So this is a $350 million project. It's going to be a village to attract people to have a conversation from around the world. And it'll be uh, high school students from our Alexander Musk High School in Israel. Mm -hmm. It'll be college students. It'll be postgraduate students. It'll be adults that'll come in all on the same campus having a conversation about Zionism with professional lectures and be able to carry on uh, Abraham's vision. Right, of course. So is this going to be also like a full-time location for, like it will be a new university that people will be there full-time or it's going to be a place for everybody, thought leaders and people to come and really have a place to converge, you know, where... You know, everybody had a dream of the Negev being being something. Right. No, it's not a university. It's a facility. It's a, a village for people to come together. Mm -hmm. But there will be uh, educational programs that, are, that will be held there. And uh, people from around the world will be able to come and understand what is Zionism to make sure that the next generation, the next 50 years, 100 years, understands what Zionism is. Which is actually a very uh, interesting thing to, you know, to mention is that we're really at a critical juncture right now within, within Judaism and within, uh, you know, the diaspora because, you know, we know what Zionism meant for so long and now with everything that's happening in the world, it's like a word that is used with a political narrative that has to do a lot with the politics and the, you know, what's happening here in the Middle East. So maybe explain more of that to, you know, what is Zionism really and, you know, what was it founded upon, not as a political narrative that it's used today in, you know, certain circles of people that don't right. want to say nice things about Israel. Zionism is not a bad word. It's a good word. And, you know, originally Zionism was uh, for the Jewish people from around the world to find a country, a land for the Jewish people. Now it's changed. Now it's, it's about building what we have, expanding what we have, and even security. But it's the, the, the generation now needs to understand, you know, we grew up knowing that there's an Israel. But our, our ancestors did not. They were starving for a, for an Israel, so we need to keep it the the word Zionism uh, uh, current, and it's it's not about finding a land; it's about prospering in a land, mm -hmm. and, and it, that not being a bad thing. It is not a bad thing, and it's not a political term. Mm -hmm. It Zionism is the love and the growth of Israel. Of course, also when we're talking about the next generations, like you said, the people that are growing up now 
they know of Israel being here since they were born. This was not the case when you look at, you know, my grandparents and, you know, where they lived through, you know, the end part of that dream that was hundreds of years old of a dream of having a land of Israel. How do we get to the young people today, especially in places like the U.S. where, you know, there's a lot of wokeness, there's a lot of, you know, very liberalism that it's like, okay, we're Jews, but we're not Zionists or, you know, we're not per supporting what Israel does. How do we help also educate that demographic of people that we're losing? Yeah, you bring up a great point. And I will tell you that we're proud to say that at Jewish National Fund USA, the fastest growing demographic we have is 22 to 40 years old. The That's fastest very growing. So, and the part of that is that we invite them to be decision makers. And we're raising over $100 million a year, but they're decision makers within the organization. They sit on the national board, they sit on the regional boards, they make decisions. We're making sure that our future leadership understands Zionism and they're part of it. Mm -hmm. So you really need to embrace them. They can't be left on the side. You know, they can't have, everybody around the table can't have gray hair. <laughs> no pun intended. You know, we really need those young people, and we have them, and they're great leaders in the making. Thank you so much uh, for your insight. It's really a pleasure to meet you in person and keep up the good work. Thank